Today on Estentatious, we're going to look under the blazer and we're going to find some shocking revelations here. Welcome back to Estentatious, everybody. My name is Jack. Uh, so across the internet, uh, especially YouTube, if you look, you're going to find a lot of information, a lot of videos that are going to tell you how to change an S10 slash S10 laser rear end shock. However, I can tell you, maybe not on every S10 blazer, but at least on an 87 square body, the process is different from what everybody's finding online. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I have. It's a little bit different. All right, so on most of your videos you're gonna see online, you're gonna see, like I said, S10 slash S10 Blazer videos. But these square bodies, I can tell you it is not a slash. This is completely different than the S10. The S10 just has two bolts you pull, no problem. You hit the socket or wrench, whatever, on the heads of the bolts and you're out. However, here, if you look up under there, I don't know if I can get close enough to see real good, but you'll see that there's actually a nut on the bottom of each of these and a bolt going from the top down. Now, of course, this is going to be a lot different than a regular S10, right? Because uh, let's go ahead and insert a picture here somewhere. I don't know where on the screen it's going to be, but let's show you what it looks like on an S10. There, somewhere. Oh, over there. Yeah, okay, good. All right, guys, so that's something important I wanted to show you guys. Uh, that way you don't just curl up in your, your blazer unaware that there may be a difference in an S10. Uh, guys, I just want to show you, I'm in the process right now of uh, getting the rear end and leaf springs and everything loose so I can kind of clean it up under here real good. Um, as you can see over there, I've already cut the exhaust behind the exhaust hanger. However, I got to noticing, yeah, that muffler's got to go, which I did a comparison test. I'm going to have to pull the exhaust off the toaster and modify it because the collectors for the manifolds on this have two bolts, and that's a three-bolt setup for the manifold over there. Uh, but anyway, uh, next up, emergency brake. Uh, we don't ever use emergency brakes. Uh, I've cut the bracket as good as I can without being totally underneath. Uh, when I get underneath, I will come up here and I will trim the rest of that bracket off, make it look nice and clean. I've got to come up right here at the junction. Where is it at? Follow my finger. No, right there, man. Come on. Follow me. Right there it is. All right, so I gotta go to that junction on the other side. I've got to undo the fitting for the brake line. I've got to get the line for the rear end out. And once I get those out, it's a simple low room procedure for an S10. Just take the four U bolts out, finish these shocks, get the U bolts out for the leaf springs, take them out, roll the rear end out from underneath it and rebuild the rear end then put the suspension in all right so i just want to make that real quick video for you guys uh to show you the differences in the s10 and the s10 blazer again i don't know what all years blazer this is i've seen some round body blazer videos where they were just like an s10 i don't know the difference just be aware that these differences are out there and if you have an older square body you've probably got what i've got so don't be shocked when you roll up under there and go what? It's okay. Did you guys know that 95% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed to the channel? Right, guys, I would very much appreciate it. If you're watching this video, just hit that subscribe button. Watch a few more of the other videos. While you're watching videos, you may as well go ahead. If you like them, hit that bell button and hit all notifications. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please just go ahead and give me the thumb. You're like, oh, that's all it takes. Okay, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But if you give me a thumbs down, don't this is me. No, tell me why you gave it a thumbs down. Give me a chance to do things here, guys. Like I say, I've never done anything like this before. Right. 
guys in the meantime thank you guys for watching have a great week